The exercise that we're going to go through today is a goblet squat. Okay. There's three planes of movement in judo. There's the sagittal plane, the frontal plane, and the transverse plane. The goblet squat is in the sagittal plane. The reason we want to do squats is they improve your trunk strength, your posture, and they improve your leg strength. These are important for being able to throw people and being able to keep your posture when you're in your gripping exchanges. Today we're going to use a kettlebell, but if you don't have a kettlebell available to you, it's not a problem. You can use a dumbbell, you can use a medicine ball, you can use a weights disc, or just some sort of object to give you some sort of external resistance, which is going to challenge your posture and challenge your legs. For the kettlebell squat, as with all our squats, we want to keep our feet pointing straight ahead, perhaps slightly turned out the way. We want our knees to stay in line with our feet. We want our posture to stay nice and upright. I'm going to hold the kettlebell in both hands and I'm going to tuck my elbows in so that they go between my knees. Then I'm going to slowly squat down, bring myself back up. Today we're going to go through a squat jump with rotation. For this exercise today, we're going to go through our foot position, which we want to be straight ahead. We want our knees to stay in line with our toes and we want to keep an upright trunk posture. We don't want to see any moving side to side or our hips popping forward and our head coming forward. So we've decided to use a hurdle as an external focus for the athlete. This gives them something